Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. Today, I'm going to talk about how to import UBS data into SQL accounting system. First of all, you need to make sure that you have your UBS accounting backup file. It's called backup.scc. And what you need to do is you need to extract the information in this backup.scc out into a folder. How to do that? Just right click at your backup.scc, open with. You can use any zip program, for example, WinZip, or I'll use WinRARA. So you just extract, we'll extract into a folder called backup in desktop. Done. So you have your UBS information over here. Then for syntax customer, I'll provide you with a blank SQL database. For others, you may need to go to the login screen, three dot button, and create a new database. So what you need to do is restore the blank database. Let's say when I restore the database name, I'll put your company name, let's say ABC. Okay, close, we go in. The only difference with the blank database or with the new database is at the general ledger, maintain chart of account, the blank database is totally blank. There's no chart of account, there's no customer, no supplier, nothing. But for, if you're creating from the new database, then we will have your SQL standard chart of account. So what I need to do now is just go to file, data import, click at UBS account. We select the folder that we just extracted, it's backup. Okay, click connect. So what I want to do now is I just click at chart of account. I click execute. So for the first time, it always have certain um, error message. No worry. You just exit it. Then we do it again. Select folder. Backup. OK. Connect. Execute. Okay, that. So you can import the agent area project terms currency also. Okay, done. So you can see that when you go to your chart of account, all your account is already here. Even let's say trade creditors or trade debtors, we already already set the control account for you also. Okay, everything is here. But I will advise you to do a double double confirmation by checking through the whole chart of account again. And for customer and supplier, very easy. Just continue, go to file. Oh sorry, you should go to tools option and go to customer side and you need to select a control account. So, uh, trade debtors is 3000 slash slash 00 is a control account. Supplier is 4000 slash 000. You should also go to general ledger, set the two major account, meaning that let's say for sales account is 5001 credit sales, purchase will be 6001. Because this is a UBS data, so you should know what is your sales account and purchase account. And for the rest also, you can set the default. So let's continue with the import. Go to UBS account, select folder, click at the backup, connect. So let's import the customer master data together with the opening. So click all this. 
including your supplier side also the opening so just click execute so the whole things will run let's say there is a duplications we just click yes by doing this you no longer need to re-key back the opening for customer side for supplier side also no problem so depends on your transaction it may take some times you can see the record is running okay so done so when I go to customer meaning customer all your customer is already in with address and everything even with delivery address the outstanding also is already in for supplier side same things and then we can check let's go to customer invoice all the transaction already in and it's according to the document number the date okay even when you want to check with the customer aging also no problems okay so it shows that it is how easy it is for UBS customer to migrate to SQL accounting system if you have any problems you always can contact me but do drop by at my Facebook it's facebook.com slash syntax technologies please like my page so you can have all the latest information regarding SQL accounting system and also GST just in case you need to refer to others SQL accounting system tutorial video you may go to my website is syntax.com.my go to YouTube you can have my SQL GST tutorial video and also others SQL accounting system tutorial video once again I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies thank you